This video shows how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. We go to kali.org slash downloads. So there we can see download Kali Linux images. So you can download one of the image. So I'm going to download Kali Linux Lite 64 bit. So there is two options HTTP and torrent. Click on HTTP then save this file so this is a file which i downloaded so you can see the file here then go to oracle virtualbox manager then click on this new button then here you can give the name for your virtual machine uh, we give it containers then the location of where we need to store your vm files then the type we need to select linux and version we can select uh, uh, debian uh, 64 bit so if you go to wikipedia and you can see that kali linux is a Debian derived Linux distribution designed for digital forensics and penetration testings. Okay. Uh, after that, you can click on continue button. Then, if you want to adjust the memory, you can adjust it here. Let me go uh, 3, G, 3 GB. Okay. Then, click on continue. Then create, select this option, create a virtual hard disk now. Click on continue. So VDA. This is a hard disk file type. VDA means virtual box disk image. Okay. So if you want to, if you want VMDK, you can select this option. Okay. Then click on continue. Uh, dynamically allocated. Select this option. Then click on continue so if you want to increase the size of the hard disk you can adjust it here let me give around 10 GB then click on continue okay done so after that select the virtual machine which you created then click on settings and go to storage so there you can see ID controller and SATA controller so this is the hard disk file you can see the virtual size is 10 GB and actual size is just 2 MB so let me go to the ID and select MD and here we need to select the uh, we need to select the ISO file Kali, Kali Linux ISO file which we downloaded click on this option choose virtual optical disk file then select the Kali Linux Linux uh, light ISO file which we downloaded click on open okay now you can see the file here and size you can see here and location attached to right now is not attached to the VM let me click on ok done so if you go to settings again and go to storage and if you click on this file you can see right now it's attached to the VM which we created okay now we can boot this VM click on this start button So if you want to increase the window size right now you can see window size is very small so you can increase it let me select 300 okay 300 is fine then you can here you can see live options then install graphical install so I am going to select this graphical install okay
then select uh, English United States okay so I'm going to select the default one now it's loading installer components from CD So you can give the ghost host name here. So I'm going to give Kali. Okay. Then the domain name. Let me give Kali again. Now it's asking for root password. So give the password. So you can configure the clock here. So now it's time to partition hard disk. So I'm going to select the first first option gated use enter disk. Then click on enter, press enter button. So here I am going to select the first option add files in one partition. Okay. Now click on uh, press enter to finish partition and write changes to the disk. Then select yes, then press enter. Now it's installing the system. Okay, done. Now click on continue. Now it's configuring package manager. And now it's installing grep bootloader. So install grip board loader on hard disk. Okay, select yes and click on continue. Then select the first option and click on continue. Now it's finishing the installation. Okay, now installation has completed. Now let me click on continue. Okay, now it's rebooting. So enter the username and password is Kali.
so actually the uh, username is root and password is curly now we can see use the default configuration so now we have successfully installed Kali Linux in VirtualBox yes, please subscribe my channel please like and share the video